Welcome to Success Superstars, episode number 239, your place for the blueprint of success for peak performers just like you. And my special guest today, Beth from Addison, Texas. Welcome. Thanks, Mark. I am so excited to be here. Yeah. Well, we're in a building, I think, that you used to work in. Yes. So prior to getting into real estate, I was in corporate America, mm -hmm. and we worked one building over in Tower One. So wow. it's very familiar coming back here, very nostalgic. Uh, was it scary kind of leaving corporate America and that security and stability or perceived perceived security and stability? Um, it was. It was. We had made financial preparations so that if I ever decided that I wanted to go pursue a dream, I would have the ability to do so. And we had just bought a house so I could be close to the office. Mm -hmm. And it was so fun going through that process that I just thought, why am I not doing this? Like I was so passionate about real estate and probably much to my agent chagrin, like very involved in the right. process. Um, so I was just like, why am I not doing this? Like I'm so excited about it. But yeah, it was absolutely nerve wracking. And like a month later, the pandemic happened. So that totally slowed down my plans of mm -hmm. getting into real estate mm -hmm. and getting that started, but uh, it's it's a move I'm really proud that I made. Yeah. If you could look back now over that period of time and do anything differently, would you? Over starting in real estate? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what I would do differently in terms of the transition. I know, you know, I've gone to a lot of educational events and gotten myself involved in coaching. So looking back over the last year that I've actually been involved in selling, yeah, there's a lot of things I would do differently. I would pick up the phone a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, I would network with successful agents a lot more just to see what they were doing and mm -hmm. being able to emulate that. Um, but I also think going a little slower for me, I was able to really focus on building my brand and providing that great customer service that I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. But I might have done more um, sales activities to build that business a little bit faster. Yeah, you know, the, the sales activity is really what makes it happen. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, I think it's important to find out like what your strength is. So whether that is going to be hosting open houses and meeting people in person or picking up the phone and making those calls, like find what that niche can be that you're comfortable with, that you're successful converting, where you can make the most impactful relationships and focus on building your business that way. Going back to what I could do different, um, I think because I was so involved in trying to learn all these different ways, I was doing a lot of different things instead of really focusing on one or two areas. Mm. Since changing that focus, you know, I felt better about my business, how I'm building it, the relationships that I'm able to make with my clients are, you know, even deeper. And so that that's kind of amazing when you're able to yeah. really play into your strengths. Isn't it powerful when you can get comfortable as less as more. Yeah. 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 And, um, so we saw each other at the Tom Ferry sales summit and I had gone last year and I, I was very new to the business and I felt, Oh my gosh, it's like machine gun, like spraying mm -hmm. all these different things everywhere. And this year he really talked about, you know, focusing on one or two pillars. And I thought, okay, that that's like so easy. Like, am I missing something here? Mm -hmm. Um, but it is so important to Less yeah. is more and can really help propel you forward. Yeah, and get, getting over that fear of missing out, giving yourself permission to say, I'm going to yeah. focus on these things now. I can always focus on these things later. Right, right, absolutely. Now, uh, one of my biggest coaching lessons, uh, I, I tend to learn from non-business things yeah. uh, to business. And, and I had a, a golf coach. Okay. And my handicap dropped in half with one statement. It's amazing. Mark, you have to give up control mm -hmm. to gain control. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to control everything in the right. golf stream. Right. And when I let it flow, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I didn't have to control everything. Right. Uh, have you found that that you're trying to control everything and you've started to let go of some control? Have you had that experience yet? Mm. That's like the story of my life. <laughs> oh, so I hit you on know, yeah. learning how to you know let go and just let be. Um, but I do think there 
is some finesse in that knowing mm. what you can control what you can't control and being comfortable with those things that you can't control i sleep a lot better at night knowing that i've done everything that i can and sometimes yeah. the outcome's not what i want but i would lose sleep thinking about how i could you know control that outcome but it yeah. wasn't in my power to do so there has been a little bit more peace in yeah. knowing that yeah we, we can't control everything well, and it's really relevant in this market. You know, we can't control the market. We right. can't control interest rates. Right. You know, we can't control so many of the things, but right. we can control our behaviors, exactly. our prospecting, our sales activity. Right. Uh, those things we can control. Totally. And it sounds like you have a really good grasp uh, of that. Trying to, <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Um, I think that's something that buyers and sellers still struggle mm -hmm. with, especially, you know, as this market is changing sort of to pre-pandemic days and normalizing, as I like to say, buyers are worried about interest rates going up. And mm -hmm. it's like, well, you don't have control over that. What you have control over is your savings, your budget, you know, looking at houses that will fit within that means mm -hmm. versus worrying about the interest rate or sellers wanting to get a certain price for their house. And so they want to, you know, you know, listed a certain way, what we can control is the marketing, the staging, attracting people there, and then the market's going to tell us what it's going to pay for the house, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very smart. Now, as you prepare, there's about maybe 100 days between now and the beginning of the year. Uh, I like to work in 90-day sprints. Yep. How, how are you preparing yourself to kind of close out this year and, and be ready to have a good start uh, to the next year? Yeah, so um, there's a fantastic book, The 12 Week Year, which I'm mm. sure you're familiar with. Um, so that's kind of how I'm looking at the rest of my year. It's like 90 day sprint to see what I can control. What I can control is my activities, my behavior. So making sure that I'm picking up the phone, adjusting my schedule. That's a really, really big thing because that is something I can control mm -hmm. is being in charge of that and how I spend my time and where I allocate it. Um, and knowing that what I do now is going to set me and my clients up for success because yeah. really that's what it's all about is our clients. Yeah. Well, what would you like to share with the audience before we wrap up today? Oh my goodness. So the first thing I would say is like, chase your dreams, you know, mm. whether that's in mm -hmm. your career, like follow your passions. I kept thinking like, why can these people do that? Why can't I? And the fact of the matter was I could, I had to make a plan to get there, but chase your dreams, like find out what that passion is and go after that. If that's in terms of real estate, whether you want to buy your house or sell your house and move, be closer to family, like put a plan in place to make those dreams a reality. Because once you start doing the research and putting the plan together, it's probably a lot simpler yeah. than you think. So just, just do it, figure it out. You, you can make it happen. Yeah, just do it. Great advice. Well, thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much for being here. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah, and congratulations on your success. And Thank I know uh, further success to come in the years uh, ahead for you uh, as you serve more clients. Yeah, looking forward to it. And thanks to Jay Parr for all the assistance to make that a reality. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, there we have it. That's, a, that's our episode for this week. We'll be back next week with another episode. Until then, may your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears.